I'm driving down Hollywood Boulevard with the wind in my face. Life is good. The Drew Carey Show is Kathy Kinney. From Arliss, Robert Wall, Bobcat Goldway. Comedian Craig Shoemaker. From Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Caroline Ray. Writer, comedian Bruce Valente. And starring Whoopi Goldberg. With Tom Bergeron, your host. All on Hollywood Square. Hollywood Squares, have we got a show for you? And just to prove it, let's welcome our gang of nine. Hello, stars! What's up? Yeah. Hey. How are you? Hey. And of course, what would any game show be without actual living, breathing contestants? <laughs> Ms. Circle, tell us about yourself. I'd love to. My name is Gail Pupo. I live in Rancho Cucamonga, California. I'm an equipment manager for the physical education department at Alta Loma High School. I'd like to say hi to my family and friends and to my two grandsons, Andrew and Justin. Hi, guys. All right. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. Rancho Cucamonga. All right. Mr. X, tell us about yourself. My name is Brian Fodor. I'm originally from Voorhees, New Jersey. I, uh... Currently, uh, I'm working as a caddy in a local country club here in Southern California. And in my spare time, I like to uh, play golf, golf, and golf. Okay, all right. It's good to have varied hobbies. Great. Here's what you got to do. You got to get three of our stars in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally. You have to decide if the answers they're giving are correct or they're just smoking you. That's how you get the squares. First game's worth $1,000. Who won the toss backstage? I did. Bradcho Cucamonga. Yes. All right, you start, okay, Gail. I'd like to start with Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopster. Yes. <laughs> Don't cry for me. <laughs> I just got a vita. That's but... sure. Salon Magazine reports that in his next book, noted playwright and screenwriter Larry Kramer revives an old rumor that Abraham Lincoln was what? Black. <laughs> yep, yep. That's kind of short. Yep. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no, actually, uh, the rumor is that Abraham Lincoln was, in fact, gay. I agree. That's the rumor. Oh. Circle gets the square. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Brian. Craig Shoemaker, please. Craig Shoemaker. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Craig, what TV personality kept a rubber chicken and a wooden arrow at his desk for good luck during tapings? That's legendary talk show host Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you at his table. <laughs> oh, Craig, you are bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I think that was uh, Merv Griffin. Merv Griffin. I disagree. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson. X gets the square. All right, Gail. Eddie Griffin, please. Eddie Griffin from Malcolm and Eddie, where of course he plays Malcolm. Oh, look at Eddie. <laughs> You're afraid. bouncing balls in the rubber capital of the world. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> That's square. <laughs> You know, if you're bouncing balls and, and you know, you, you're pretty much in a, in a mental institution because, you know, all the walls are rubber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're in the rubber capital of the world. Where are you? Oh, the rubber capital yes, of the world. the rubber capital. Oh, all right. No, I'm with you. You know, the rubber capital of the world happens to be in, in Amazon. It's in the rubber Amazon where the rubber plants are. Like in the jungles. The jungle of the, the Amazon. Right, the That's Amazon jungles. Yeah. All right. I disagree. Akron, Ohio. A circle gets the square. All right, Brian. Bruce Valance for the block. Bruce for the block. Okay. <laughs> I had a timeshare on Fire Island with Abe Lincoln. <laughs> I'm much older than you think. St. <laughs> Martin's Press reveals that in photographic ads, what were light grade motor oil and a head of whipped up detergent used to sell? Uh, well, whipped up detergent uh, to put a head on something. Yeah, head of um, whipped up detergent and light grade. Well, it can oil. only be one of two things, and I'll go with beer. 
I'll agree. Yeah, they were presented in a glass to look like beer. Yeah. X gets the square. <laughs> num, 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 Gail. I'd like to go with Bobcat Goldthwait. Bobcat the for the block. Bobcat Wild on the Beach is an old movie that still plays on cable, starring what famous couple? Uh, Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. Uh, Siegfried and Roy and Abe Lincoln. <laughs> They're older than you think. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Sonny and Cher. I disagree. Sunny and Cher oh. it is, yes. Okay, Brian can't That's give you that one. Um, Bobcat for the win. For the win and $1,000, okay. <laughs> well, well, you missed a golfer. This is, you lucked into this one. On the fairway, can warming your balls enhance their performance and increase your drive? <laughs> Personally? <laughs> Yeah, I'm with Whoopi. You know what I'm saying? It's just been too overloaded on the balls, man. <laughs> no, but um, sucking on your putter helps. <laughs> you know, I just got a, a, a talk with the producers about going over the line. I'm not quite sure if that was it. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I see the line, it's in my rearview mirror. <laughs> I'm going to say no, it doesn't. I disagree. Yes, it does. Warmer golf balls are more flexible really? and fly farther. X gets the square and the win for $1,000. While we contemplate aerodynamics and warm balls, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. show thousand dollar secret square game about to get out underway if either of you picks a secret square and is correct what, what, what are you guys doing we just oh, sending out signals hi. to people yeah oh okay it's a peace sign yeah it means peace to the whole world 360 right, that's degrees that's all right wonderful wonderful very nice uh where was i oh yeah you could win this yeah you can win this experience the wonders of nature with this trip to canada worth over three thousand two hundred dollars <laughs> Who the secret square is. All right. Now, Brian, you won the first game, so you get to start this one. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. Please. All right. Let's start. <laughs> Thanks to Los Del Rio, the 90s will be remembered for a dance craze called what? The Bimbo Limbo. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what it was. There was only one dance craze in the 90s, and that was the Macarena. I agree. X gets the square, the Macarena, yes. Okay, Gail. Caroline Ray, please. Caroline. Oh! Secret Square, Caroline Ray. You know what? I'm from Canada. Yes. You so are? I'm yeah. Canadian pride. Okay. Which U.S. president's childhood uh, nickname was Dutch? Bill Clinton's, Ronald Reagan's, or Jimmy Carter's? Like I said, I'm Canadian. I know. Um. <laughs> You're America's sweetheart. Ronald Reagan. I'll agree. Ronald Reagan Circle gets the square, and you also get this. Wilderness Tours Kayak School on the Ottawa River, Canada. Learn from the world's best kayakers on the world's greatest paddling river. Big rapids and warm water all summer. A luxury wilderness resort with hot tubs, pool, fireside lounges, and rustic cabins. This fun on the river is worth $3,250. Congratulations, Gail. All right, Brian, back at you. Bruce Valanche, please. Bruce Valanche. All right, then. Oh, you're all righty, then. Yes, then. O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. Good old O.J. Simpson recently signed on as a commercial spokesman for what? Uh, uh, I think uh, O.J. has signed on, well, you know, now Mr. Caddy, golf. I, he plays golf clubs. That's what he attacks people with now, golf clubs. What golf clubs? I disagree. It's a lawyer referral service, actually. <laughs> X gets the square. Only in America. All right, Gail. Okay, Eddie Griffin for the block. Eddie Griffin for the block. All right. I'm going to block it. <laughs> Who discovered the Virgin Islands in 
the Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands. Yeah, you remember that. Yeah, I don't know exactly who, but God bless both of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it was an island full of virgins, and I visited. I, I bet you did. But no, I believe uh, the two gentlemen, uh, the name was Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark. I disagree. Uh, it was one gentleman, Columbus, though I'm sure he had a boatload of people. Yeah, circle gets the square. Lewis, Lewis and Clark. All right, Brian. Kathy Kinney for the block. Kathy Kinney for the block. From the Drew Carey Show. <laughs> Kathy, if members of the House of Representatives serve a two-year term, how many years do U.S. Senators serve? Depends on the crime. <laughs> hmm. Um, three. I disagree. Six, actually. Six. X gets the block. Oh, we're going to take a break? Gonna take, okay, we'll take a break, because he was doing like that, and uh, I'm sure that's what that means. We'll find out when we come right back after this. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. $5,000 game still underway, and Gail, it is your turn. Okay, I'd like to go with Craig Shoemaker for the block. Craig Shoemaker. <laughs> the Love Master. Yeah, baby. Okay. I have a movie, by the way, The Love Master, available on my website. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Just want to get CraigShoemaker.com. Sounds good. Newsweek reports the 21-year-old mayor of Friendsville was arrested on three different occasions for what? Asking employees if they wanted to feel his key for the city. <laughs> okay, uh, mm -hmm. the movie's a lot funnier than that. <laughs> we had a good director. I would say that's uh, underage drinking. I'll agree. Indecent exposure oh. in Friendsville, Maryland. Yeah, Mr. Mayor. So uh, we can't give you that one, Brian. You have to earn it yourself. Craig Schumacher for the win. For the win. Okay, Craig. Where does one go to see the majestic beauty of Half Dome? <laughs> William Shatner's house. <laughs> what, that's not a Half Dome? It looks like it landed on him, that hair. Okay. All right. Oh, oh it's a surprise to you people? <gasps> okay. Idaho. Idaho. I disagree. Yosemite National Park. X gets the square and the win. But fear not, Gail, $2,000 game, chance for you to come roaring back. Uh, why don't you start this one off, Brian? You won the last one? Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopster, okay. <laughs> In Hawaii, one day a year is known as Lay Day. Which day is Lay Day? Lay Day is after the Mai Tai night. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's June 7th. I'll agree. It's May 1st, actually. Circle gets the square. All right, Gail. Okay, Caroline Ray, please. Caroline Ray. Okay. The largest species of frog is named after a famous giant. What is the name of these 12-inch long frogs? I think that a frog that says that it is 12 inches is a bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gail, I did date a herpetologist. No cooties, but a herpetologist is a frog and reptile expert. I swear to you. Okay, that's really what they are. It's a Goliath frog, like the giant. I'll agree. It's a Goliath frog, I like swear. the giant. Circle gets the square. Brian. Bobcat for the block. Bobcat for the block. Hi. In, uh... Yeah. I want to point out that Whoopi wasn't one of the producers that uh, talked to me about crossing the line. Oh, good. Thank right, you. Right, right. She's it, the one that blurs it for me, actually. <laughs> yeah, okay. In 1974, many people were surprised when the U.S. president announced a conditional amnesty for who? Uh, uh, Richard Milhouse Nixon. I disagree. Vietnam war deserters and draft evaders. X gets the square and the block. All right, Gail. Eddie Griffin, please. Eddie Griffin. Eddie. The yeah. Plodocus, Hypsilophodon, and Iguanodon are all what? Cured by penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> Things found in a jacuzzi at a Playboy Mansion. <laughs> Four remaining Spice Girls at age 60. <laughs> Things found in a hot dog. 
I got more. <laughs> now, I believe that these would all be uh, reptiles. I'll agree. Dinosaurs, oh. actually. They're all dinosaurs. Well, it's the yeah. same thing. Yeah, you got to give Judge. What do you think? I think. Uh, the, I mean, no, not the same. According to Skippy Trebek, our, oh, our the judge. Hell with Skippy. <laughs> hey, Skippy, <laughs> right, man. Skippy, reptile, dinosaur, dinosaur, reptile. Brian? Uh, Rita Rudner, please. Rita Rudner. Okay, Rita. Rita, what, uh, what do Americans buy more of, pet food or, <laughs> or baby food? Well, this is very difficult because oh. I feed my dog baby food, <laughs> but I feed my husband dog food, so really I don't even know. And I love my dog, and he's not a child substitute, at least that's what his piano teacher says. And I think that it's people buy more baby food. I disagree. Pet food, four <laughs> times as much. X gets a square. Okay, we got uh, some, we're out of time, so let's add some squares up. You got two on the board, Gail, I gives you a $1,000. And, uh, you know, and you got the Wilderness Thank Tour, you. the Whitewater Tour as well, and the Secret Square. Thank good, you. Good, good to have you here. Thanks. Brian, you got one, two, three up there, added to what you already won, $3,500. You're our champion, sir. Congratulations. Come back to play for a bonus prize right after this. Stay there. Voter, our champion, he's won $3,500 in cash. More to come, possibly, Brian. Each of our stars has a bonus prize. They total over $100,000 in things remarkably like these. There's a check for $10,000 and an exotic vacation in Shanghai worth over $7,800. Or maybe a car. The Chrysler Sebring Convertible. V6 engine, performance handling, a back seat comfortable enough for two, and a double sealed roof for all year driving. Engineered to be great cars. This sporty new car is worth $28,970. All you gotta do is pick a star, get the final question right, and that prize is yours. Whoopi Goldberg. Well, sir. <laughs> oh, thank God. I was afraid I had the Shanghai trip. <laughs> China's not the place you want to be right now. Yeah, no. really. Yeah. Uh, but it's an adventure in Antarctica. And Antarctica. Bring sweaters. Which basketball star is the highest paid player in the NBA? Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, or Kevin Garnett? I'm going to say... Malone. For an Antarctic golfing expedition. <laughs> I disagree. Kevin Garnett, yes. you're going to Antarctica. Check it out. You and the guests will fly to the tip of South America, where you'll board a boat for your 14-day Antarctic expedition. Explore the deep south of the Antarctic Peninsula. Vast colonies of penguins, seabirds, and sea life. Majestic ice cliffs, glaciers, and the explorations of a lifetime from distinctive destinations. This amazing expedition is worth $14,500. Very good. Cool. Yeah. That brings you total into a nice round. $18,000 in cash and prizes. Brian Fodor, congratulations. Thank Hang on to that as a souvenir. Thank you. Good to have you with us. And, uh, you know, you're featuring Antarctic golfing on our list, aren't you, Robert? I'm uh, sorry, upcoming? I'm sorry. I was just catching a quick coma. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're out of time. I'm having yeah. all of our stars. Oh, oh, my <laughs> See you next time on Hollywood Squares. Take care. Let's do this. On One versus 100, you never know who you're going to meet. Six psychics. Five soccer moms. Twelve hippies. Me? That's a hippie. Oh, who you'll have to beat. Either you win where they win. Meet the ones to beat on 1 vs. 100, hosted by Bob Saget. Saturday at 6 p.m. 5 Central, only on GSN.